Hello. Based on real events, mostly, states the opening title of Stephen Freer's new crowd pleaser, Victoria and Abdul, and they're not events with which I was at all familiar. It seems that in 1887, as part of the celebrations of Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee, and bearing in mind her role as Empress of India, it was decided that a moha, or ceremonial medal, be presented to her by an Indian. And it seems that, more or less at random, the Indian chosen for this task was Abdul Karim, Ali Fazal, a clerk at Agra Prison, selected mainly because he was tall and reasonably presentable. The officials responsible, like most of the Brits in the film, are depicted as twerps and buffoons. Accompanied by a reluctant friend, Abdul makes the voyage to England and before long is being tutored in court etiquette by Sir Henry Tim Pickett-Smith, who's in charge of the royal household. Of course, as the film's title reveals, and anyone who's seen the film's trailer will already know, a firm, if unlikely, friendship develops between the elderly monarch and the charming and outspoken Indian. I thought you were Hindu. I am a Muslim, Your Majesty. I learned the Quran from my father. He's my Munshi. Munshi? Yes, Munshi. My teacher. Well, we would like you to be the Queen's Munshi. But I'm only a servant, Your Majesty. A servant cannot be a Munshi. Well, you are a servant no longer. You are my teacher. You will teach me Urdu and the Quran and anything else you can think of. Frears has made many good movies over a long career. My Beautiful Laundrette, Dangerous Liaisons, The Grifters, High Fidelity, The Queen, many more. So it's a little surprising to see the way he allows the supporting characters here to ham it up. There's a great deal of eye-rolling and exaggerated embarrassment as the Queen's doctor and ladies-in-waiting react to the presence of the black outsider in the circle of royal intimates. Lee Hall's screenplay may or may not play fast and loose with the truth, but it's mostly amusing. Fazal is perfectly charming as the eager to please and to serve Abdul, but the film's salvation is the wonderful Judy Dench, who is once again superb. She's the perfect Victoria, whether having a quick nap during a formal dinner, reporting to her doctor about her bowel movements, or overseeing a picnic on a Scottish hillside that is inevitably interrupted by rain. Victoria and Abdul is a visually handsome and intermittently very entertaining film, but it's Dench who gives it a much-needed lift. I'm giving it three stars. 